Well, hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday's Live with the Wolf Couple. Happy New Year's. Yes, Happy New Year's today. We are out at a house this at a property. A, this is Never actually. Stop working, huh? That's right. This is a house we're buying on New Year's Eve. So even with the holidays, you can still be out there buying houses. That's okay? right. Um, so we're going to take you through the house and we're going to ask your opinions on some of the things that we're going to be looking at. Uh, so we're going to be looking at upgrading this house. Uh, what If we think the valuation is correct, if we think our comps are right, uh, we're going to talk about comps. Uh, how do you figure out how much a house is worth? Now, if you can figure out a lot from Zillow and you can figure out not beyond this estimate. Now, there's ways beyond this estimate to evaluate a property. And there's another site that we like. Ownerly is a newer site that uh, we've actually used uh, and have has found that to be useful. So we like some of those comp sites. But remember, it all comes down to, when I say comp sites, I mean comparable properties that have sold, it's comparable to the subject property that we're now touring and trying to figure out how much we should offer. Okay, and that's what it comes down to. How much should you offer? What do you, you know, what is a good price on a, on a property? Now, one thing that you need to start to be aware of is price per square foot. There's a pretty good grid pattern on Ownerly where you can go down and they run some comps for you and they put them on a list and you can actually look at them across and see what is the uh, price per square foot of all these solds. Most of these you want to actually sort by square footage so that the comps are the same square footage as your properties, your subject. And then you look at what the price per square foot is. Now in this house here, I think the price per square foot is uh, around, I'm guessing, I, I'm, now listen, this is not an exact science. Even the uh, automated valuation models, the AVMs they call them, that are used by Zillow. Now, what's the one used by Zillow? Who knows that? Everybody knows that the, the AVM used by Zillow is called their Zestimate. And so now Ownerly has one, and uh, there's other ones on other uh, sites, websites that actually give you some information. So we're gonna actually be looking through this house and the comps that you get, here's what it comes down to. Remember, uh, it all comes down to prior solds. And so no matter what site you go on, what you're looking for is properties that have sold recently, hopefully within the last 12 months, and are within a couple square, a couple hundred square foot of your subject, and they're within about a mile with no big geographic features separating them like a, you know, a huge freeway or something. Because sometimes you'll have properties that have more or less valuation on the other side of a major geographic feature, like a highway. Well, it's not really a geographic feature, but a feature nonetheless. So Lynette, uh, well, we're gonna go hello. through the property and we're gonna talk yes. about what we think it needs. That's okay. right. Now, Hi, Lori. <clears throat> Hi, Kyle. How are you? Happy New Year to you guys. Happy New Year's. All right. It's so gonna be the best year ever. This we like 2021, to we are so excited about 2021. Yes. Uh, we love the creative financing business, and we think there's going to be so much opportunity. It, uh, there is going to be, this is going to be a dam breaking open in 2021, and there's going to be so much opportunity. That's right. So we want to help you close deals and do what you need to do and know what you need to know. Oh, Ferris is there. Oh, I have yeah. a delay on mine. Okay, so uh, there's certain Hi, Marianne. Things. Hi, hey, Ferris. Guys. There's lots of things we want you to know and be aware of so that you can make the most on deals and the most profitable deal in there's six deals basically in real estate investing, including rehabs and, and uh, uh, options. And a lot of people know uh, about some deals like wholesaling, wholesaling is a popular deal, but not as many people know about creative financing, which we, we love. love. Yes. No money down, none of your own credit. And you make profit for years and years. And at the end you cash a huge paycheck sometimes. All right, so let's talk about this house. This house is 2,000 square feet, and it's three bedroom, two bath. And it's actually, um, the nice thing about this house, it's actually in a golf course community. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of golf courses here in Arizona. It's a great location, great school district. Um, we're actually, our contract um, is 375. It's worth 425. 
right around yes. 425. Is and you, you came again, you got to find comps that are, you know, that are priced similar prices for what you're getting and you want to compare them according to those things I talked about. So we're going to walk through the house and I want your guys' opinion on what you think you would do as far as the pretty house polish. Now this house is actually looking pretty good. There's not a right. lot. But let's start in the kitchen here. Right. Um, what do you guys think about um, the granite countertops? <laughs> well, these are... <laughs> They're nice. Yeah, these They're are... actually really nice granite countertops. Can you guys see that okay? Let me see. Oh, I was trying to figure out how to make them see it. Yeah, better. I think the countertops are fine, so I don't think you need and, to do anything with those. And um, the cabinets now. The Remember, cabinets, this is a pretty expensive house. Upper three. You know what? I, I think I'm going to flip. Should I flip the camera? I wonder. No. Okay, they can see it well enough. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yes, we have a uh, brand new, brand new, they're not even used yet, stainless steel appliances Okay, here. I do like this, and that's a, You've got, that's a big thing that now you don't have to do it. So. Yes, yeah, stainless steel appliances. You got the, over here, you got the radiant cooktop, brand new stainless steel whirlpool is a good brand name. Um, I like the granite countertops. They did a nice job on that. This here, what the do you The cabinets are cabinets? older. The cabinets are older but they did put the little handles on. So how, who thinks that they would need to replace the yeah. cabinets? Does anybody think you would need to replace the cabinets? Or replace the handles. Or the handles, or that's right. sometimes people will do the facing and just the- uh, I've seen the, the comments. I have the same cabinets. Oh, Cherry has the same cabinets? Okay. Oh no, Ronnie does. Ronnie has the same cabinets. And Cherry's saying to repaint the cabinets. Repaint. Okay. There you go. Now you can paint. This house has a lot of white in it, as you can see. So uh, you could even paint these cabinets if you wanted to. But you know, you got to decide what you're going to do with them and what whether about the sink. The they sink. actually did a nice job on the sink as well. Yeah, okay. they need to clean this. Some of this stuff is staging, remember. And if this, if things are dirty, they look like they're not as new and nice. That's actually not a bad uh, yeah. faucet setup. Yeah, they did. That they looks did decent. Nice. Oh, and while we're in the kitchen, um, what do you guys think of this chandelier? Who would replace yeah. this cheap little crappy chandelier? Okay. And then there's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, guys. Lighting fixtures are one of the least expensive things to fix that make the biggest impact. So if you just put do a little bit with a lighting fixture. Lori says and, um, paint you know, cabinets plastic. and new handles. Yeah, this thing's plastic yeah, and cheap. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, so um, who says keep keep this thing? <laughs> who says keep that's that a piece pretty, of junk plastic? A, and it looks like it's from the 80s or something, right? Yeah. Well, the house it? was built in the 80s, and so that's why a lot of the stuff is original. That's why we got to look at things. And but, you know, here. here's a cool feature that you don't see all the time. Oops is oh no row 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 where'd you go something happened here all right let me see if you guys can still see me oh okay oh let me see oh let's see if we're still here oh yes, there we still. are okay so what so, i wanted to show you guys was uh you don't often see skylights which are cool oh i so, do i oops. love Hearing you talk. <laughs> That's weird. It's hearing you talk, honey. Okay. Oh, no. Let's see here. All right. I'm going to have to turn Siri off. We're having an issue here. Oh, no. My whole phone went off. That's weird. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I think you guys are still there. I'm just trying to find you. I think you guys can still see me. All right. We're having technical difficulties, and I am going to do something on my phone. So yeah, there yeah. we are. That's Let me do right. something. Uh, hold on one second. Let me go ahead. <laughs> I know. So you can see those skylights behind me. Yeah, the there you go. Now you That's can see I the skylights. That's what I show you guys. Okay. <laughs> but then when we tip the camera, it goes nuts. So anyway. All right. So That's what do you guys... Um, uh, you're still here, still here. Okay, thank you. See, now that's okay. what you call bones, guys. It's something that uh, the way a home is architecturally put together, uh, you know, cabinets and everything, that's not the bones. That's stuff you can replace sometimes for not as expensive as you might think. And they're all saying, um, 
who is doing the video? Very annoying. Okay, I will do it from now on. Here we go. Lynette has the video under control. <laughs> the light is good. Um, now, what I also like is the um, you have the six panel raised doors. See on the doors there? They're not the flat panel doors. They're the six panel. And I really like that. I like the uh, the bay, the nook area. This is the bay nook area. And um, the ceilings are, you got the uh, 12 foot ceiling there. And what do you guys think of the wood shutters? Now we're in the living room, okay? So what do you guys think of these plantation wood shutters? Is this good? Very nice. These are expensive, by the way. Uh, good doors, yep. Good doors, good shutters. I'll uh, tell you, these shutters are real nice. And uh, uh, so many times you'll go and see these shutters are all broken. And these look like they're really maybe new. Maybe they replaced these. Yeah, shutters. they definitely look brand new. Yeah, but they didn't replace the carpet. And that's a big mistake. I mean, they're asking what do you for think, what they're what asking. What do you think of the carpet? Yeah, guys, look at that carpet. And it's a light colored carpet. So it really shows, like, especially like in this area, and uh, you can try to clean a carpet. I've seen people try to dye a carpet. Who's dyed a carpet? AJ said great shutters. Yeah, I agree with you on the shutters. What we like is the vinyl plank flooring now. That's our new thing. Um, yeah, and you know, I'm not crazy. Tile you don't have to replace oftentimes. And you can see this tile, but it's smallish tile. It's like 10 inch and it's, uh, you don't feel like it, it's not as impressive. So sometimes tile, you don't have to replace it, but it's worth it to replace it to make it a lot more dramatic, especially if you can get a decent deal on tile. And tile is one of those indestructible things you don't have to replace. Yeah. Uh, and also the vinyl plank flooring. I mean, that you can replace all the carpet in here with vinyl plank yep. flooring. And then Ferris, it, it, Ferris said the hardwood vinyl plank flooring. Yeah. I love that. And if you're going to have the house for 10 years and get long-term seller financing, you want uh, durable flooring. So, yeah, we like the vinyl plank right now. And Cherry says um, keep the tile. Um, who agrees with Cherry? Just yeah, see, keep the tile and do the vinyl plank wood flooring. All right. Now, that's a pretty good question because I, uh, I could see it both ways on the tile. But if you have a really Mary good Marianne says guy, it'd be a very small area and very inexpensive. Yeah, so we're just talking about this area in here, the kitchen. There is a little patch of tile there. Veronique says she would definitely replace the carpet. And we agree. We're talking yeah. about doing the, the wood vinyl plant. Well, yeah, I would, I, everybody, uh, you should, everybody should agree on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that'll make a house like this not sell is the flooring. And people just don't have their money going out the door. They don't want to take the hassle yeah. to do it. And they think maybe I can slip it through and sell it without having to do some things. That's right. And uh, I, that makes a big impact. What do you guys think of that ceiling fan? Would you guys keep that ceiling fan? Okay, or that's a, a good question. Now, guys, does it look dated to you? Who think, who likes that style uh, with the... Uh, yeah, who well, likes that's that? That's a certain kind of a style. Who likes part. that style of the ceiling fan and, and who would gold. replace it? Remember, it's gold. Is, there, is anything else in here gold? I guess... Derek says outdated. It, is, it does look outdated to uh -huh. me, that, that style. Yeah. And you want to have a, a modern feeling to it. And you look at the fan over there, which I'm okay with. It's just a big white kitchen fan. Cherry you says that. it matches the skylight trim, but no, um, but no. Yeah. So. Okay. And they do have a fireplace. Uh, it's wood burning. So, uh, you know, that's a plus or a minus, but I, I will tell you that that's a staging mistake to not just throw a log in there or a couple of logs in there. Lori, Lori and Chris both said, uh, Chris says it's dated, ceiling fan needs to be replaced. Veronique mm. says, I don't like it. Tim Walker said, love it. <laughs> <laughs> you, Tim loves the Tim, ceiling You love like that style. Well, Tim, that's a, Tim Walker that's... said, love the ceiling fan. Is that right? I just want to make sure that's what he was talking about because he just okay, said love it. Okay, but that could be something else. Uh -huh. No, he said love it. And June said like it. Um, and if that matches, see, here's the thing too, guys. If it matches the rest of the house, if other things are with that kind of a darker wood with the, like, uh, that 
style, then yeah. okay. Now, uh, the fireplace, though. Eric, agrees Eric said, I don't some... like the look. June said she likes it. Yeah, so we got uh, we got some con controversy on the ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, now, fireplace. Just a staging tip. How hard would it be to buy a, buy a couple of Duraflame logs or something and just put, stick them in there? Or... <laughs> Real actual logs, actual wooden logs, if you want huge to do Huge difference. You know. Um, that would be a huge difference, because look at that void area there. Yeah, just a bare fireplace. Yeah, that's a really good tip. I hope you guys are taking notes. Brian has his notebook for features and fixes. Yes. We call it the F&F. Yeah. Right, and, honey? Right. So show, you me your, show me your professional. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I always carry a professional portfolio. Uh, if we were meeting the seller, I would have uh, also a manila folder here with a bunch of paperwork in it. Fireplace spark guards look good. Okay, that's what Eric Williams said. Spark guards, okay. And, Any other and, tips, and the lines is a great idea. Yeah. 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 And now the spark guards, if you buy a nice one, and what he's talking about there is that framing piece that you can put around it. And sometimes you can buy really fancy ones, and that's cheap. And, uh, you know, that could look really dressed up this area. Is yeah. What it could do. And Ferris also, has a good tip, you know, because when you get the logs of wood, it gives you that homey feeling. Yes. Especially in the northern. Yeah. <laughs> in the north. Now, that's a good point, guys. Why do you do staging? To make the house feel more homey and less empty. This house feels very empty. There's zero staging in here. It's, and it hides just some, the, some oh, yeah. little touches. Like, look, look at this mantle, guys. How hard is it to put three flowers, you know, boom, boom, boom on here and make a huge, it's huge a hum difference? Humongous difference yeah. when you stage the house. <laughs> Pictures, pots, plants, and potpourri yes. and poster. You want it to smell nice. Those are all our peas. Yep. All right. The so four peas of staging. Five peas, actually. The Pictures, five pots, plants, plants potpourri, and poster. Now, here's another thing, guys. Look, they didn't even paint. And look at this. There's stuff in the walls. There's holes. There's, I don't know if you guys all, can see that, but there's yeah, smudge marks and holes in the wall. Yeah. And so how much is a coat of paint? Well, how much? Okay. Who thinks? Let's hear some numbers on this. Who? who what do you think for a 2018, 2018 square feet? And you guys can see it does have a little bit of a loft here. It's a one story, but there's kind of a loft. So it's, you know, not tiny. Uh, what would you think you'd pay for a complete interior paint job on this? All right, let's see the numbers. Complete interior paint job on 2,000 square foot home here. Yeah, and uh, pretty and much. And we don't like the white tornado. What we call that is white everywhere. We do accent walls. So we'll yeah. hit certain walls with accent colors. Yeah, maybe this wall right here. This is wall, that the wall you would do? Possibly this wall right here might be your accent wall. I oh, would this agree. really needs paint. See, when you shine a light on it, yeah. see that light is shining right on it. Yeah, and, you uh, can see how dirty the walls are. When you're this kind of a price, you, you just, these little touches really hurt your saleability. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lori says, let's see, Phil says $1,200. I mean, uh, Ferris says $3,000. Phil okay. says $1,200. Lori uh -huh. says $5,000. Derek says $6,000. Uh, okay, we're talking about an interior paint job, guys. Just interior 2,000 square feet. I would be, uh, I'm closer to the 1,200 than I am to the 3,000 and the 5,000. Yes. Now, this may be somewhat area dependent. So if you live in certain areas of the country, maybe you pay more. Would you get this in the middle of the screen? <laughs> okay, so you may pay more in some areas of the country for, you know, for uh, some contracting work. Ronnie says 1500 yeah. Interior paint, for us around here in Arizona, I would expect to pay maybe twelve to fifteen hundred. Uh, now, like I said, in your area it might be two grand or something like that. But uh, remember, those are the four pretty house polished things: the flooring, the paint. This thing needs flooring badly. Needs the interior paint. Uh, needs the uh, landscaping. And actually, the landscaping is very good. So we don't need landscaping for the pretty house polish. And the counters are okay. So really, we're looking mainly at interior paint, and uh, maybe do something with the cabinets. I'm not. I, I'm undecided yeah. on that. One. This is uh, this is the huge family room. This is what I'm talking about with bones, guys. This thing actually has neat bones. It kind of flows. It's a good floor and, plan. Uh, and I like the lofts. It makes it feel more spacious. 
you know, it's a taller ceilings and this is a nice open feeling here, the slider door, you know, you got a lot of room. Now I'll tell you, this is a, this is such an endemic problem. These slider doors stink. They're always way too heavy. They don't slide easy. If somebody would just for, spray a whole bunch of WD-40 on that track, this thing would slide like a drain, but people don't oh, seem to yeah. get that. Cherry said, leave the mirrors. I agree. Yeah, now that makes the house feel... That's a good point, yeah, Cherry. Makes it feel more spacious. Now, what do you guys think? <laughs> okay, I can't wait to you guys. I can't wait okay. to hear what you think about this. All right, so, who likes the chandelier? Yeah, this is a, this is the chandelier in, in uh, <laughs> what would be probably your dining room table here. Yeah. Yeah, depending so, on what you got out here. So who likes this is style? Is the ceiling cracked in the dining room where the mirrors are? The ceiling cracked. No, I think that's just a reflection. Yeah, I, I could see Marianne where you would say that, but it's yeah. just a reflection. So what uh, do they're you saying, think kill it, this? kill it. <laughs> Tim Walker says, love it. <laughs> I know. Come on, Tim. Tim, Tim likes the old-fashioned <laughs> stuff. Um, sometimes down Ronnie, in Texas, the chandelier should be donated to a Hollywood <laughs> movie set. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ronnie. Well. That's funny. Oh, this that's, is pretty funny. Though. Looks I mean, like grandma's. I know Derek said 40s. it looks like grandma's. And what is this? Cherry said, "Get a baseball bat." <laughs> <laughs> There's. I think you, you guys are funny. Happy New know. Year, Lenny. Crazy. Yeah. So okay. that is an old right. timey. Do you want to go in the backyard before yeah. we finish the house, honey? Yeah. Okay. Let's go out in the backyard. We're going to go right in the backyard. Here. No, I really do like that open feeling. Now, when I'm talking about bones, this is kind of nice out here. It's a good patio. And they got the split over there on the other part of the floor plan. Uh -huh. And I will tell you that the landscaping for Arizona, this is really nice landscaping, very mature. It is. And it really gives a lot of privacy. Come out into the private backyard here yeah because normally there's a lot of properties in arizona where you don't get a sense of privacy no. but here you don't have a single neighbor looking into your yard and uh look at this you yeah. talk about total privacy here and some really mature landscaping uh -huh. there, some of these uh, cactuses in that are really look at this one this is really nice yeah this isn't is that always, nice yeah this is really quite nice and in the mature trees, so very private backyard. So if you're writing features and fixes. Features and fixes. Yeah. Now, you guys know what fixes we've talked about. New lighting fixtures, right? Yeah, are you guys keeping a, a list going? Because we're going to come up with how much our contractor thinks it's going to take yeah, to get this house ready. Yeah, new lighting fixtures for sure. And, uh, but the backyard, very private and uh, mature landscaping, which is sometimes rare. Yeah. So this is nice. Um, and you know, it's, it's, here's the other thing is uh, easy care backyard. This low is, maintenance. This is yeah, what we call low maintenance backyard. Right. It's just dirt, but the, the you know, the tree uh, needles and that fall down leaves. And so it actually nice. ends up looking nice. Okay, here's- Oh, a look at the sunset over there. Can you turn and show you guys the sunset? Wait, let me show them a detriment here, honey. Who sees um, a detriment here in Arizona right there? It's not a covered patio. Yeah, and this is crazy, but for some pe reason, people sometimes just put the slats up there. And it's nice in the winter, but in the summertime, you want that cover. Yeah. And so this is definitely a detriment that there's not a covered see, patio. The is there. So you can yeah. actually just lay you know, some roofing over the top of that. Yeah, so, that's true. Okay, who would do that? Who would put the roofing over the top? I can't imagine that would even be all that. Who would, yeah, who would cover the patio and who would leave it with just the slots? Yeah. Let me see what they're saying. Uh, if you if you lived in Arizona or, or went through an Arizona summer, <laughs> <laughs> this would not be a huge It would be question, a big right? question. <laughs> we are, we're going to cover the patio. Okay, you now, guys wonder. here, let's turn around. I want to show you guys the nice sunset because you can actually say that like... Uh, I like sunset views and stuff. There, I mean, it's not the greatest sunset view I ever saw. Honey, you got to come over here. You can see it from over there. Oh, okay. Oh, you can see a house. I guess that's not total privacy after that's all. That's way over there, though. You have to come way out in the backyard to see that. But yeah, very. I would say the Let me backyard. See what saying. I would give the backyard good. Cover day. the roof and the wall and the patio. Mm -hmm. And right. is what uh, Ferris is seeing. Okay, here's saying. my other point on this: is it's a pretty Derek good size. Derek says leave the slats. The slats. 
Yeah, okay, guys, and we are Phil on... says cover with rolling shade. With rolling shade, like where you could roll it back, or uh, that's a good idea. That's actually a clever idea. Yeah. Where you could do a Phil, shade that's... that you could roll back and forth. Yeah, nice idea. that is a good idea. Okay. Now the way the New house rollers is situated, on the patio doors and silicone spray. Yes, yeah, Cherry, yeah, you you're right about that. The <laughs> way this house is situated, would you let me talk? It's on the inside of a curve. Oh, yeah. And so the lot is shaped a little bit bigger, and there's a pretty good side yard over there. Oh, should we We're check not gonna, the side yard? No, I'm not no? going to go there. But okay. There's plenty of room, and it's a it's a pie-shaped lot, and it's bigger better, than a normal better lot. Better shades, yes. And so I want you to push that, and that would be a feature, is larger pie-shaped lot. Now, that's not really pushed in the Actually, you're right. That's a really good point. They so, don't push that, and they should. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, so let's go inside. Um, hi. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, we should maybe show the side here. No. This okay. tile is kind of nice. This is actually, this flooring I wouldn't even change. This is this outdoor tile. And it looks like, you know what? This is a pretty recent job. And how can you tell? How can you tell? Because of the grout. The grout is still new looking. If this had been down for very long, that grout would be dark. Okay. That's right. And right now, look how light that grout is still. Okay. That's right. So uh, you can you, you go in the living room or anywhere else where you see the tile. And that's a big hint on tile, guys. If you've got tile, just a lot of times you don't have to replace the tile if you just clean the grout. All right. So now we're going to head over to the bedrooms. Or should we go in here? Should we go here first? The laundry room. Now look at how terrible this flooring is. As you can see <laughs> it's, it's, it's linoleum, <laughs> you know, and it's got really uh, bad marking on yeah. it. And, you know, how expensive would that be to just put, you can actually put linoleum in there that looks kind of like tile, but I'd probably just put the vinyl plank flooring in. Yeah. Or if we we're redoing the say... tile with tile, I'd probably put tile in there. Yeah. It's a pretty good looking washer and dryer. And let's see. The garage looks good. Oh, yeah. Okay, now listen, it smells great. Ooh. Now, you don't, you can't see that on the TV, <laughs> but it smells really good in here. Yeah. It must have plug-ins, so like how we talk about the five yeah. keys yeah. of staging, and one of them is, but here's the thing, whenever I walk into a place and it smells really, really good, I think, are they covering up the smell? So, yeah. you know, yeah, so yeah. it really is it's strong. It's pretty pungent. Yeah, but, you know. It's actually good. It's sort of smells like cleaning supplies. So it's a oversized two-car garage. You've got the built-ins over there. No, this is nice. Here, here's a good feature. You've got built-in cabinets on that wall, which are a nice feature. Built-in cabinets. And then over here, you've got a work area. So it's a handyman special. You've got a workbench. Nice. You know, with a couple of cabinets. Very nice. Now, if you don't write this stuff down when you walk it through the house, you will not remember it. That's and for sure. You go to write your Zillow app. Sometimes they go to the dam. Like the garage, it. like the cabinets. Yeah, sometimes you Floor can has to go replace the whole house with nice vinyl plank flooring. I yeah. I agree with Ferris on that one. Yeah. Marianne said really nice. There's probably some storage up here, guys. I'm not fun. You want to see me climb up okay, there? put a thumbs up if you want to see Brian ah, ah. climb up there right now. <laughs> thumbs up if you want no. to watch. Yeah, go ahead. What? <laughs> Wait, let me see if people are doing thumbs up. Thumbs up if you want Brian to climb up there. <laughs> oh, wait, you need a couple more thumbs up. Hold on. A couple I'm more thumbs up. <laughs> Climb, Brian. <laughs> thumbs up. Do you want Brian to climb into the attic? Uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. They're all saying thumbs up, honey. Okay, <laughs> why don't you do it? Okay, uh, now it I, looks dark up there. I'm gonna do my flashlight on my on my uh, eye watch. Oh, it's real bright, honey. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Oh no, I want a white sock. Honey, wait. I'm not sure. I was kind of kidding. <laughs> Brian, wait, honey, no, honey, come back, come back. You might fall through the, fall through the area. Okay. okay so it's <laughs> oh my God. There's a lot of storage up here, actually. It will not mess your shirt up. Okay, come on down, honey. Lots of storage. Oh, 
Ooh, we almost got to see something live there. <laughs> Let's hear it for Brian. Yeah. All right, we'll come back, honey. Let's let's go back in the house. Okay. So we're gonna go back. This has um like I already mentioned, you've got the six panel doors throughout the house, but they don't have the lever handles. They don't have the fancy door handles. Um, let's go over here to the bedroom. Ready, honey? Yeah. All right, here we go. So we actually have, it's three bedroom, two bath. All right, here's the first little bedroom. And it's interesting because the uh, this bedroom here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's long. Yes. This okay. This is a really big bedroom. It's actually a long bedroom. A little bit more narrow than normal, but it is long. Yep, and you've okay. got uh, a built-in little desk, which is kind of nice. Oh. Yeah. I didn't see that. That's cute. Okay. So you got the raised panel doors. They replaced the ceiling fan, but they did not put a light in the ceiling fan it's just a fan can you guys see that i mean really they need to add that light to the ceiling fan i'm sure it's triple wired which it is so all right now we're going to that other where are you honey okay here's the other secondary bedroom right here um once again you know you can see that these holes. Right. They didn't I mean, patch any holes. They didn't they patch didn't any anything. holes. No. But isn't that a common, guys? It's it's, it's quite common. common. And it's just those last few touches though that make a house seem like it's fit worth fifty thousand dollars more sometimes. Absolutely. And the lighting fixture in here is not too good either. Nope, we gotta replace that. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not it's yeah. It's not even a ceiling fan. It's a uh, it's just a little round light thing there. Um, so we definitely need to get a ceiling fan in this room. Did you make yes. a note of that yeah. with your feature and fixes? Yeah. Lengths will make up for the depth. Yes. On that first bedroom, Marianne. I will tell you that this is, uh, something you can't fix is these ceilings are a little bit low in here. Yeah. You know, some of these ceilings are kind of low and so not a big thing, not right. a big thing, but. And fortunately, this ceiling isn't long. Here's the master bedroom. So in the master, the ceiling is. Here uh, we go. Through. Here is the master bedroom. What do you think, honey? You got the little uh, bay area. Well, okay, what do you guys think of those? The they put the plantation wood shutters on the sliding door. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> what do you think of these drapes in this? Who uh, likes supper? who likes those uh, drapes and the curtains? Who says drapes and curtains stay or drapes and curtains go? Let me hear what you guys have to say about that. Drapes and the verticals are yuck, <laughs> said Sherry. Well, this, I think an old person lived here, guys. Yeah. You know, I think somebody a little bit older maybe and their style was a little bit tended towards that direction. Yeah. So uh, I would probably for sure, and you know, these are, when you have this much of a color choice and it's that outstanding, usually it's not so great. And usually you want to have more neutral tones. That's a good note, guys. Write down neutral tones, except for one accent wall, but that's kind of a neutral tone. Uh, you know, it's not jumping out at you. So, uh, but definitely I would take this down. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they're saying go, go, go. <laughs> go. Uh, Everybody's saying get, oh, burn. <laughs> Lori says burn the drapes and the curtains. <laughs> now, look, they, they painted in here to match that, those uh, drapes out there. So this would have to be repainted for sure. But look, they tried to do an accent wall. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm not sure about the color, you know. So that was my question. You know, this, this uh, vanity here, it's it's not too bad that the color is unusual, but it is you know pretty good quality. And uh, the mirrors, you know, this isn't too bad. I again lighting fixture. Actually, this one's not as bad as some of the other ones. See, so you got now that that one's more of a close call. What do you guys think about this lighting fixture? Yeah, who yeah. likes that lighting fixture? Yeah, what do you think about that one? It does have the double sinks. Yeah, that's nice. It's not raised. 
unfortunately. So listen, she has a little bit low. Yeah. That's true. So um well it's again. Joan it's said the like the color but need more neutral. Marianne said, not sure about the plantations in front of the sliding glass door in the yeah. master there. Now here, uh, I'll tell you that uh, this is a super cheap, really easy fix, is a shower head. Oh my goodness. You can get a really super fancy looking shower head for about 40 bucks. Absolutely. Uh, not even that. And it makes the shower look a lot better. Absolutely. This is sort of a, uh, you know, since you have the bathtub, you don't need a huge shower. It's certainly not a huge shower, you know, but you yeah. don't have a lot of room in here. So you oh, a lot to work Rick with. is howling. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. We got to wrap okay. it up in about two more minutes. Okay. okay. All right. And so we're going to go through what we think. This does, this has now some remember, this has a walk out into the backyard, which oh, I yeah. do like. Did I show you yeah. guys that? That was master a sliding, it's a sliding glass door walk. versus a French door though. I like that. Really? Yeah, I think sometimes it's Takes easier. Takes up space. The when slider you have the... door is easier, yeah. It's yeah. less uh, space. And then they have built-ins here. What do you guys think of those built-ins? Do you like the built-ins in the master here? That's a tricky one because they're white, so they're kind of neutral. Uh -huh. But you're not going to take them out. You're not yeah. going to take them it's out. It's not going to be worth it. You... No. Who would take it out? Who would leave them in? Well, see, nice I think they job did these decorating. with this. Look, guys, they did. They hired a cabinet. What they did was they hired a closet company, and the closet company came in. Oh yeah! And they put in all this framing in here. Yeah, you're right. All these shelves here, all of this stuff with yep. the bars and everything, and those over there. So they yeah, just probably did a whole thing. Yeah, job. they did the whole thing. So it, it's actually good, and yeah, it, it provides I, a bunch of storage. People need storage. Yeah, so, you know, I, I'm okay with that. Lori says no. Um, you know, it's not nice the, job. It doesn't look super, super ritzy or luxury or anything, but it's functional. Yeah. And then here's the secondary bathroom. We didn't really take a look at that. Too okay. Much. That now I, would you replace that toilet? How, who knows how much a toilet, a really nice new toilet is to, as opposed to a 1950s <laughs> toilet. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, who wants to sit on that? It, it's and the wood really. And it's just, that's a, a new it's toilet a, is about. What? People do need storage. Yes, storage yes. is good. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think a new, t a nice new toilet would be? Yeah. How much you guys think a nice brand new toilet? And do you really think? Do you think we need? I'm not gonna touch that thing, but no, don't touch it. I'm not gonna oh. touch it. <laughs> Replace toilet, eighty dollars. Um, Aggie. Mm, that's it depends on. Um, that's Phil a said one hundred and thirty. Yeah. Uh, Lori said 120. Yeah. I'm in the one. Ronnie said 150. 150. Yeah. yeah. If you want a really nice. You can even get one that's like three inches higher. That's actually kind of a nice feature. And you can get them for in that 120. You guys are in the right ballpark. Yeah, there. you're in the right ballpark. 150. And, uh, and, you know, now this is one of those things that, you know, it was originally styled this way on the, on the shower, you know, but, it, you know, and it's kind of nice in a certain way, but it does look sort of dated with this kind of slider. Yeah. So it might be that you might even want to just pull this whole thing out and just put in a shower rod with a nice shower curtain. Yeah. Uh, that might be the way you want to go. Who, what do people think about that one? Do you keep this, you know, the slider situation the way it is right now and just say people will like it or they won't like it. It slides nice and smooth. It doesn't, you know, look busted up or anything. And, uh, or would you take it out and put in a, cur a curtain rod and a nice shower curtain? Who would, who would take that out and put a shower curtain? And who would leave that? I don't see the answers yet. You know what you could actually- Tim Walker said $150. Okay. Yeah, he's right. Okay, Tom, Tom DeVoe said, slide it out and uh, the door. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Tom. Um, and Augie said shower curtain and yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what you could even do? This is gonna sound crazy, but you could actually put a shower curtain up over that and then let the person decide what they want. It is easy to clean, June. That's a good point. Yeah. Shower curtain preferred, but you can change it out without damaging the bath tub. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Uh, no mildew. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you have some really good points, actually. Yes. You guys are making great points. Yeah. Awesome. Right. I think that we see everything. Yep. Did that that was the, the grand out? tour. No, we're good. Okay. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. This All is right, New so Year's Eve, awesome. honey. Oh, yeah, it's New Year's <laughs> It's one Eve. thing to buy. We got to let, but... let you guys get out of here. <laughs> Dude, it's really. Wow. 
We're holding them yes. a long time. Yes, we're keeping it here. <laughs> we're going to go over by this beautiful light, right, honey? <laughs> Okay, if you okay. say so. <laughs> so, guys, uh, it was our pleasure to be with you on New Year's Eve and our honor and privilege that you spent your time with us tonight. This is, uh, and uh, we hope year. you learned a lot. Yes, if you learned a lot and want us to do more live of us buying and selling our houses, give us a thumbs up. Yes. Give us a heart. Give us whatever, and we'll do more of these live yes. on Thursday, us out buying and selling our houses. And remember, houses. the real every deal. Every Thursday, same Every time. Every Thursday, same time, 7 yeah, just p.m. Set your alarm in your watch right now. And we're going to say goodbye to the year 2020. That's right. Goodbye. And, and welcome, welcome to 2021. The best year of your life. That's right. We this cannot will be the wait. Best year of your life. Happy New Year. Happy Mwah. New Year, everybody. From the whole couple. And 2021 is going to be a fabulous year. Yes. I, I feel good. You're part of the Wolf Pack. Once you're part of the Wolf Pack, you're part of the Wolf Pack for life. So That's we're excited. Right. Yep. And we're all going to have a great new year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year from the Wolf Couple. Oh, happy new year. Take care and take action. Welcome 2021. Awesome.